We'll go back to the topic at hand here. Mick Foley. Um, John, I'll ask you, you real quick. Um, do you think Mick Foley is going to be sticking around here in WWE? Do you think he signed a new contract, a new Legends contract? Or do you think it was just a one-off appearance for the hardcore legend? That's tough to say. I know he's very dedicated to what he does outside of the WWE. I know he, he, he has, takes a lot of pride in um, everything he does outside the ring. So I, I wouldn't expect to see him too often. I imagine that, you know, this was a stunt to really pull over the viewership from the uh, Monday Night Football game going on. But uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Foley, you know, in a, in a more active role. But uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to see him around too much. I know he was polling his uh, Facebook fans earlier today in one of his posts or something that he usually puts up uh, about what role he, they would like to see him in on WWE TV. He said he had a few ideas of his own. I know he was on WWE TV regularly, if you can even count this, but um, the Saturday Morning Slam show that they had a couple years ago, I know that he was a general manager of that show. They never really utilized him after that, after the show went defunct. And um, I think he refused to sign the Legend contract earlier this year. So it'll be interesting to see if he signs a new contract with them and shows up every once in a while. Like a couple years ago when he first came back, and he did that whole thing with John Cena. Remember that? The This Is Your Life thing with the, the mock of what Rock did with Mick Foley. And when Mick Foley, his first appearance back in the WWE in over three years since that segment that John was talking about before, he did that terrible segment and I know he loves Christmas, but he was Foley Claus a couple times. He never did anything meaningful. But last night's segment I thought was great. It definitely put emphasis on Hell in the Cell, especially the Rollins and Dean Ambrose match, which has you know been building for four or five months now. So that was really, really helpful. But RJ, I'll ask you, do you see Mick Foley sticking around going forward? No, I don't think so. I feel like he was brought in for the Hell in the Cell to spice it up a little bit since he's pretty much the king of Hell in the Cell. But... I don't know. I don't see, he's not going to wrestle anytime soon. I don't see him doing anything like announcing or just he's more of like a one come once in a lifetime kind of like come back once in a, every certain mm -hmm. amount of time and make a little splash, but nothing too major. Yeah, I think you only show up every once in a while. And like you said, he only showed up to put over the, the, the destructivity of the Hell in the Cell, how vicious that cell structure can be. And if you really think about it, going into Hell in the Cell, we really haven't heard much about that whatsoever. I know Kane kind of commented on it in passing a couple weeks ago. might have been on SmackDown. But Mick Foley was really the only one, aside from that video package last night, that said Hell in Cell is all about the numbers like they do with uh, the Chamber every year and Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank. Yeah. They do it all those kind of matches too. So I'm glad to see they put that up. But